What? Oh, Andrea, can you please answer that? Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Yeah? This is the show. Yeah. Andrea? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. Hold on a second. Yeah? Oh, hey, our students are here. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea. And I'm Campbell. Andrea, don't you remember what we learned from this week? Of course I do, Campbell. We learned how to be polite on the phone. Yes. So why were you so informal on the phone? I wasn't informal. Well, you didn't sound very professional to me. So who was on the phone? The phone? I forgot. I put the person on hold. Hello? I'm sorry. Can I help you? Thomas? Oh, I'm sorry. Thomas isn't here today. Can I take a message? Okay. I'll tell him you called and I'm sure he'll call you back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Much better, Andrea. I think it's a good idea for us to review this week's lessons on the phone and taking a bus. Yes, I agree. Review is always good. We'll also be on the go and you'll meet Aubrey on Live with Campbell. Aubrey plays Amber in the Florida story. And you can also sing along to this month's song time. Let's start our Saturday show. Uh, Campbell, I'll let you get that. <laughs> okay. Hello? Yeah, this is the Net Cafe. You want to talk to Becca? Sorry, she's not here. Sure. No problem. Bye. Aaron Harris! Oh! Hi, Becca. Do you always answer the phone like that? Sometimes. That's not the way to answer the phone at work. You should say, Thank you for calling the Net Cafe. This is Aaron. I know. But what I said was okay, right? I was friendly. Yes, but you were so informal. Customers like friendly workers. We're supposed to be friendly and professional. Oh, okay. I mean it, Aaron. I wouldn't want to have to tell our boss about this. You'd tell Ron I don't answer the phone well enough? I will if I have to. All right then. Don't worry, sis. I'll be so professional that everyone will be happy. I hope so. Okay, Aaron. Thank you for calling the Net Cafe. This is Aaron. How may I help you? Much better. Yes, Becca is available. May I ask who is calling? One moment, please. Here you go. It's a customer. She wants to talk to the manager. Hello, this is Becca Harris. Oh, <laughs> hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> may I use your phone a minute? Sure. Thank you for calling the Net Cafe. This is Aaron. How may I help you? Aaron, I'd like to speak to the manager. I'm sorry, Becca is not available right now. May I take a message? No thanks. I'll call back later. Goodbye. Becca, why did you call Aaron? And why did you use a different voice? I wanted to see how Aaron answers the phone. Sometimes he's not very professional. Did he do a good job just now? Yes, he was very professional and polite. I want to call him. Jeff, what are you going to do? Don't worry, Mia. Aaron won't even know it's me. Honey, aren't you a little old to make prank calls? These aren't prank calls. They're tests. Hello? Hello? Net Cafe. What specials will you have next week? Put him on speakerphone. Okay. 
I'll check for you, sir. May I put you on hold? Sure. <laughs> wow, Becca, he's very polite. Yes, he is. I guess he really listened to me. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's really cute. I know. <laughs> I want to call him next. Sure. Hello. So you, Jeff, and Mia all called Aaron, but he didn't know it was you? Right. <laughs> Aaron told me the cafe phone rang a lot last night. Now I know why. <laughs> I can't believe you three made prank calls. They weren't prank calls. I wanted to test Aaron to see how he answers the phone. I want to call him. Hello, is Becca there? I'm sorry, she's not available right now. Would you like to leave a message? Can you tell her Ella Patis called? Sure. Can you spell your last name for me? <laughs> hey, Amber, is that you? Uh, no. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you had all those people call me. Well, you did a good job. Great. Thank you for calling the Net Cafe. What? Ron? Ha! Is this Jeff? Nick? <laughs> Goodbye. You got another prank call? Funny. I can't believe Becca told people to call me. Aaron, Ron just called my cell phone. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Look at the caller ID. He wants to know why you just hung up on him. Hi, Claire. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It's not beautiful. It's terrible. What's wrong? Someone ran into my car. I can't drive it for two weeks. That is terrible. I know. How am I going to get to school? You could ride your bike. I can't do that. If I ride my bike, my hair will look terrible. You could ride the bus. The bus? Sure, why not? It's very convenient. Do you ride the bus? Sometimes. There's a bus stop near my house. Maybe there's a bus stop near my house. Well, it needs to be the right bus stop. Which bus do you need to ride to school? I don't know. Amber, you ride the bus sometimes. Which buses stop near the University of South Florida? I don't know all the bus routes, but I think bus 27 goes there. Does it stop near my house? I don't know. You live on Beach Street, right? Right. Why don't you look at the bus routes on the computer? Good idea. Buses 27, 36, 52, and 99 stop near the University of South Florida. Do any of those stop near Beach Street? Let's see. No, they don't. Then you'll have to transfer. Buses 11 and 87 stop on Beach Street. Then you'll have to take one of those first. Hey, bus 11 and bus 52 both stop on Market Street. Okay, so I'll take bus 11 to Market Street, then I'll transfer to bus 52. It will take me to school. Right. That sounds easy. How much is the fare? $1.30. Or you can buy a pass. I have one that lets me ride 20 times. How much was it? $26. I could buy that. But I hope I don't have to ride the bus 20 times. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? 
It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So, will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> On the go. Two, one, go! Wow, this is awesome! Fun? That was amazing! Uh, I love paragliding. Beijing San. Well, Campbell, where are we? Well, today we're in Yilan's Wushi Gang, and we're going to see some dolphins, Taitun, and whales, Jinu, and we're going to visit Taiwan's only island that has a volcano. It's called Turtle Island, Gui Shan Dao. Wow! We're going to Turtle Island? Yeah, and there we're going to see some cool little crabs that live near the island. Are we going to fly there? <laughs> no, we're actually going to take a boat. We're going to go check out the dolphins and the whales first. Okay, come on, let's go! On, on the go! go. Woo! Trying to call the dolphins over here. Oh. like a turtle. <laughs> Well, that's because Turtle Island is a volcano. Or sun that's still alive. Volcano that's under the water is what's making the water bubble like that. Oh, well, are those crabs that live in hot water found here? Yeah, those crabs live near the deep water hot springs. Oh, so they're just regular crabs that live in a strange place. That's right. Well, I guess they don't get cold in the winter. <laughs> hey, look, we're here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, Andrea, look at those rocks behind us. What do they look like to you? You know, Campbell, they kind of look like a turtle's tail. That's right. Those rocks are the tail of Turtle Island. And did you know that that tail can move? What? The tail can move? Yeah. Depending on the season and the wind, the tail will be in a different place. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, wow, look at this lake right here on the island. Campbell, let's go swimming. Uh, I don't even know, no, 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 no. We're not allowed to swim in this lake, but we can look at it. Wow, yeah, it is a beautiful lake. <laughs> this lake is called Turtle Tail Lake, and something very special about it is that it is salty water mixed with fresh water. Well, let's try it. Uh, no, 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 we're not allowed to drink this water either. Oh, well, if we can't drink the water and can't go swimming, then let's go hiking! <sighs> Come on, Campbell! You might see a dolphin. Dolphin? Okay, let's go! Wait a minute! Andrea, there are no dolphins up in the mountains. Oh, yeah. 
great, Campbell, but look, look at this big tree. Oh yeah, this is Taiwan ebony, Mao Shi. Well, why is it called ebony? Well, ebony means black, and well, this tree looks black. Yeah, that's true. Look, this tree is so big I can't even give it a hug. Well, Andrea, it would take three to four people just to hug this tree. Really? Well, then let's just keep hiking. Okay. Andrea, look! We can see the tail of the island from here. Oh yeah! There's such a beautiful view from this high place. <laughs> oh, isn't that Elon over there? Yeah, that's where we came from. <laughs> well, you know, we should probably get back on the boat. On the boat? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Campbell. It'll be fun. We might see some dolphins. Dolphins? Okay. Well, let's go. We'll see you next time on the go. Bye. Live with Campbell. Hi, students. How are you today? We hope you're doing well. My name is Campbell, and this is Live with Campbell. Today on our show, I'm very happy to welcome our friend Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. Hoyt. <laughs> now, Aubrey, why are we saying Hoyt? Okay, um, Hoy is high in Dutch, oh. and uh, which they speak Dutch in Holland, and that's where I lived for eight years. Holland, Holland. When did you move to Holland? When I was five years old,、uh -huh. I moved to Holland. And, and you lived there until what age? Until I turned thirteen. Oh, so tell us a little bit about Holland.、Um, Holland's a really fun place to live. They call it the land of the party. <laughs>、hmm. um, it's really beautiful, and the people are really nice. And there's—I mean, it rains a lot,、hmm. and sometimes it snows, and、hmm. it can get pretty cold and pretty hot in the summer. But I know. It's it's a really nice place to live. Let's see, and when did you move here to Taipei?、Um, three years ago.、Mm. Were you sad to leave Holland? Yeah, I am.、Um, I cried for three days,、oh. <laughs> and I was a little mad at my parents because I was in、uh, a school that I really liked, and I had a lot of really good friends, and、mm -hmm. you know, I thought if I left, my whole life would just fall apart.、Mm. I was really set in my ways, and I just thought I was gonna. Live in Holland all my life and never graduate from high school and yeah. <laughs> I see. So did your life fall apart when you moved to Taipei? Um, at first I really thought it was gonna because I got here and we lived in an apartment five stories up and I had to get braces、mm. and it was just like, ah,、uh, I want to go back to Holland. But now I really enjoy Taiwan.、Mm. How did you go from being really sad to enjoying Taiwan? Well,、um, I started getting involved in a youth group here in in Timu,、mm -hmm. and I met a lot of girls my age and a lot of boys my age, and they just became my friends. And then I met、um, the Or TV cast,、mm. and that really helped. Yeah, well, we're really glad that you're on our show because I think you add a lot to our show. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, students, it's not easy to move to a new place. Maybe some of you have had to move to a new place and make new friends. But you know, sometimes if you just try to make new friends, it can not be so bad. So we hope that you're doing well, and we'll see you next time on Live with Campbell. Love, love, peace.
your goal, achieve your dreams. School is fun, school is great. It makes you smarter day by day. Learning is fun, learning is great. You'll improve in every way. If it's hard, it's okay. Practice each and every day. As long as you can do your best, don't worry about the rest. Andrea, it's your turn again. Answer the phone. Okay. Hello, this is Andrea. You've reached Let's Talk in English. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. That's okay. No problem. Bye bye. Very professional. Thank you, Campbell. Well, thank you for joining us today for our Saturday show. We'll see you next time on Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. And remember, learning English can be fun. Bye.